Hey, folks. <laughs> Danny Ray here. Hey, I was wanting to let you know, man. Tonight, this is Monday, obviously, and tonight at 7 o'clock, my buddy JB from Military Brotherhood Radio will be at the Hub in Kokomo, Indiana. Him, along with the H Train Show, they will be there, man. Uh, go out and give him a look see. Oh, well, okay, listen, man. JB is really not a lot to look at. Good Lord. Whew, I tell you, not everybody can be as pretty as me. <laughs> so, anyway, go out there and see those boys tonight, man. Um, and uh, if you can't, well, then uh, what are you going to do? Oh, yeah, I know what you're going to do. You're going to listen on mbradio.us, Military Brotherhood Radio, all right? Now, uh, my reason for doing this video here is I was wanting to give a little bit of fishing tips, man, a little bit of tips on how to catch a fish. Right now, the bass are in the spawning stages, uh, so... Dang on fleas, man. Fleas and ticks are itching on me and eating on me, and I can't get them off of me. Can you see them? <laughs> anyway, uh, they're in the spawning stages. And that doesn't mean they're not able, that was a, a mixture of eligible and able, eligible, to be uh, caught because I've been catching the heck out of them, okay? Uh, and I noticed that. Not all the fish do the same thing at the same time. So we have three stages of the spawn that I'd like to talk about real quick like and uh, I think my hat's hitting my hair and it's really making me itch. Not itch, but you know, it'll just bother me. Anyway, you gotta get my hair cut. Um, they're in three stages. Uh, I like to call it the courting stage, the mating stage, and the family stage. Okay, the courtroom stage would be a pre-spawn stage. That's where uh, the bass are getting together. The males and the females are getting together. They're hooking up, trying to be uh, friends for life, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and uh, uh, those fish won't bite. I did find one thing that would make them bite. It, it's a little red thing, about yay long. It's called dynamite. Dang, dang, you can get in a bite on that. Um, but they won't. They, they're really busy. Uh, too busy to worry about eating a little lure. Um, then we go into the, uh, what did I say? The mating stage, okay? Mating stage is the stage where they have already made their beds up and are sitting on their beds. And uh, you can catch those fish on the beds, okay? Um, and the beds being a little hole that they make, a little divot in the, in the pond bottom or lake bottom, river, whatever, and they deposit the eggs in there, and I believe it's the males that set over the uh, eggs and guard it. So you can do things like flipping a jig up in that nest and sit there and just bounce it in front of them. And they won't eat it, but they'll get mad at it, and they'll uh, grab a hold of it, and they take off swimming with it to get it out of their nest. Well, they only have one way of doing that, and that's by putting it in their mouth. When they put it in their mouth, oh, yeah, give them a good hook set and pull them up and kiss them goodbye, okay? Um, so that's one way of doing it. Uh, then you got uh, the family stage. Uh, a lot, there's, there's quite a few of them in the family stage right now. I went around the banks yesterday, and I saw a... Uh, a lot of broods, which is all the babies. I mean, there's like millions of babies in in these broods. And uh, I, I noticed uh, a mommy, I'm going to guess, that was uh, protecting her broods. And I started thinking, huh, well, she, you know, because the bluegill and all, they, uh, they love to go up there and eat them babies. Any of the fish like to eat those little baby fishes. And uh, so I threw a... Uh, crankbait out there, which is, for those that don't know, it's a, it's a wait, wait, it's a bait that looks like a fish. I threw that out there and brought it towards that brood, and she scared the ding-dang heck out of me, ding-dang it. Whew. Whew. She hit my lure so hard that I peed my pants. <laughs> and, well, 
I've been with that. <laughs> and uh, anyway, I, uh, uh, man, oh man. So if you see those little broods, just throw around them little fellows with a crankbait and come right at them. Watch out. They, they, they'll try to steal your rod. She, she really scared the ding, dang, ding, dang, ding, dang out of me. I'm going to tell you that. So that's my fishing tip of the day. Uh, join JB and Joel at the H train at the hub at Kokomo tonight. And I'm going to say thanks for watching.